Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm a public health inspector with Southwestern Public Health. Today, my goal is to help employers and business owners navigate our COVID-19 workplace work webpage while highlighting some important features and pointing out where helpful resources are located. I will also take time to introduce and provide an overview of Southwestern Public Health's Workplace Infection Prevention and Control Toolkit. Throughout the video, I also hope to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. As we continue on our COVID-19 journey, we have faced many changes. Southwestern Public Health has prepared this video to help local businesses find accurate and reliable information as it relates to COVID-19 and their business and or workplace. The information within this video does not apply to high-risk workplace settings such as hospitals or long-term care homes. Please be advised that provincial guidance changes regularly. Southwestern Public Health strives to keep its resources up to date. The intent of this video is to help you navigate available resources. Workplaces are responsible for following all provincial legislation. So let's begin. When you first get to the main page of swpublichealth.ca, you will see this banner here, and you will see a variety of icons located below it. You can access Southwestern Public Health COVID-19 Workplace page through the Learn More button located here or through the COVID-19 Information button here. If you click this button, it will bring you to a page with six pictures with topics related to COVID-19. We are going to click on the Information for Businesses and Workplaces button for the purpose of this video. So welcome to the COVID-19 Resources for Workplaces and Employers webpage. This page acts as a homepage for all COVID-19 related links, resources, and documents that a business or workplace may find useful. To start, I'm going to skip to the bottom of the page to find the headline that says, Keeping Your Workplace Safe. Here you can find a variety of COVID-19 topics that may relate to your workplace or business. Simply click on a topic you may have questions about or require further information on, and a drop-down menu of information and links will be provided for that topic. For instance, a business owner might have a question about the provincial proof of vaccination mandate and how it might be applied to your business or workplace. If you click on the proof of vaccination requirement button, a list, a tab will drop down and a list of links related to that topic will appear. If you click on the first link, it will bring you to the Ministry of Health guidance document on proof of vaccination requirements for businesses and organizations. This document provides a summary of information directly from the Ministry of Health on the application of this mandate, exemptions, use of the QR code, compliance, and penalties. You will also see that there is a version number and a date that this document was released. Always check the version number and date of release to ensure you have the latest guidance available. It's your responsibility as a business owner and employer to ensure that you are up to date on the latest mandates and regulations as it applies to your business. Back to our homepage for COVID-19 resources for workplaces and employers under the heading Keeping Your Workplace Safe. You will see there is more information listed here regarding screening resources, personal protective equipment and face coverings, rapid antigen tests, general guidance on public health measures, and sector-specific guidance. I'm going to stop on sector-specific guidance for a moment. So some workplace settings have specific rules outlined in Ontario Regulation 364-20 Rules for Areas at Stage 3 and at the Roadmap Exit Step under the Reopening Ontario Act. This regulation provides the complete list of measures and conditions that apply to certain businesses, organizations, places, and individuals in Ontario as it relates to COVID-19. Southwestern Public Health creates guidance documents from the information in the Ontario Regulation 364-20 to help specific settings better understand what measures need to be in place in order to comply with this regulation. So here we have resources that relate directly to some specific businesses identified in Ontario Regulation 364-20. This includes personal service settings, retail settings, food premises, fitness facilities, meeting and event spaces, and taxi ride shares. So I'm going to click on the first blue link under the heading of food premises, guidance for food premises, created by Southwestern Public Health. So if you click on that blue link there, 
and I'll bring you to our guidance document created by Southwestern Public Health that provides the overview of the requirement that it relates to food premises. So this document provides readers with key points, a summary of COVID-19 restrictions, and requirements outlined in Ontario Regulation 364-20 in a chart form located here. And it also then goes on to explain what requirements are in more detail, so located here. So this is a great resource for businesses and workplaces to go when they have questions about reopening or to double check that they um, have everything that they need in place to open their business safely. So again, you can see a version code and a date of release up at the top of our guidance document. Again, it is your responsibility as a business owner to ensure that you have the most up-to-date information and are implementing changes to your business as required by the provincial government. Some workplaces may face situations where COVID-19 is spreading between staff and the workplace. Where there are two or more confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the workplace within a 14-day period, and both cases could have reasonably acquired their infection in the workplace, we call this an outbreak. You can find information about workplace outbreaks located here on this tab here. You can see the Ministry of Health has a guidance document on workplace outbreaks, and that link is right here. Southwestern Public Health has also created a document of infection prevention and control measures that workplaces can implement to help stop the spread of COVID-19 within their workplace once an outbreak is occurring. Simply click on these links for more information. As an employer, you are not required to notify Southwestern Public Health when you have a positive employee or an outbreak at your workplace. For more information on infection prevention and control, you can click on the, the link here. You can find information on mixing bleach solutions, best practices for cleaning and disinfecting spaces, what you need to know about face coverings, and a list of additional PPE personal protective equipment suppliers. For your business, you can also find signage that is located here. You click here. All these signs can be printed free of charge by anyone to display at their business. Simply click on the link and print. Now I want to take you back up to the top of the COVID-19 Workplace and Employers webpage. And just down here where there are six pictures, each of these pictures are links to more information related to COVID-19 in various topics. So we're going to look at the Frequently Asked Questions for Workplaces button. So this will bring you to a new web page. So employer specific questions are listed here at the top and then worker specific questions are located below it. So this page helps workers and employers navigate next steps when someone within the workplace tests positive or develops symptoms of COVID-19. So simply, simply click on the question and an answer will appear. Please note that these answers may change based on current case and contact management guidelines. It's important to check this web page, ministry guidelines, and regulations often to ensure you are following the most up-to-date information. Back to the homepage for COVID-19 resources for workplaces and employers. I next want to provide an overview of Southwestern Public Health Infection Prevention and Control Checklist found here. When you click this button, it will bring you to our fillable checklist form. This checklist may be used by non-healthcare workplaces to maintain operations in a way that reduces the risk of transmission of COVID-19. This checklist is designed to be completed by workplaces to self-assess their own infection prevention and control practices. At the top of the checklist, it asks for basic information such as the name, the workplace, and contact information. Below, it provides more information on how to use the checklist. And then in this section here, we ask for basic information about the workplace so we can better understand what infection prevention and control measures might best apply to your setting. For instance, some measures may be more applicable to an office setting rather than a manufacturing plant and vice versa. Then we get into the actual checklist. Each checklist 
is broken up to, by specific categories, the first category being screening. On the left is a list of infection prevention and control measures workplaces should implement as it relates to screening. Some of the measures listed in the checklist are required by the provincial government and others are measures that are strongly recommended by public health. The user is encouraged to read the item and reflect if this item has been implemented in their workplace. If workplaces have implemented this item, they simply click yes. If they have not yet implemented this item, they would click no. And if this item doesn't apply to their workplace, they would say NA. Employers will not be penalized for clicking no if they do not have certain items implemented when submitting the form. Instead, this is a tool that is intended to empower the employer to assess their own practices and make changes once they are made aware of additional requirements or measures. On the right hand side of the checklist, you will see links to additional resources as it relates to some of the items. Some resources are from Southwestern Public Health, others are from the Ministry of Health, Public Health Ontario, and other trusted agencies. Other important topics covered within this checklist include physical distancing, face covering and personal protective equipment, hand hygiene, respiratory etiquette, cleaning and disinfection, entering homes and other workplaces. So this can be used for workplaces that require workers to enter into people's homes to provide certain services. There are some recommendations here that can help reduce the risk of COVID-19 to that worker and to their clients. We also go over heating and ventilation and then occupational health services. So this section may help employers prevent and prepare for when workers may become COVID positive or a close contact or when the workplace may become an outbreak. So there's information and resources listed here for those topics. And then at the bottom, uh, there is a place to leave comments or questions and then they can submit the checklist here. So once submitted, a copy of the checklist also gets sent back to the user for future reference. Our team will, re will review the submitted checklist and will contact the user should they indicate any questions they may have or require further information on certain topics. We encourage workplaces to take their time to go through this checklist, ensure they have measures in place that are up to date and implement measures that they may be missing. Thank you for taking the time to tour our COVID-19 resources for Workplaces and Employers webpage. We encourage you to explore sections of the webpage by clicking on the topics and reviewing the links provided. Thank you to our businesses and employers for their continued dedication to stopping the spread of COVID-19. If you still have questions about anything you have seen in this video, please reach out to the following number, 1-800-922-0000. Nine six extension nine. Thank you.